Okay, ON17 P41Q7 on page 31. You just need to know how to recognize the pattern. So you look at this as circuit. Is this an inverting? Yes, it is an inverting amplifier. How you know? Output feedback to here. Okay, and this is zero point between the input and output. Okay, by reference to properties of op um, I explain why P is virtual earth. Why is virtual earth? Zero volt. So at this point, I'm going to go really fast because we just talked about it like a few minutes ago. Go rewind and see. Four marks for this, eh? You must, you must go and memorize what is virtual earth if you don't know. So the first point is that the open loop game of the op M is very large or you could say infinity. Now that's a problem. We don't like that because we can't really control the output. Straight away infinity lao. Straight away infinity lao. Any difference between V plus and V minor. The second point is, so for the op M not to saturate, the feedback loop that we add will ensure that V minus must equal to V plus. Now when the inputs are the same, uh, then the op M is very happy. The gain is not going to go to infinity. So the, the point is you want to get V plus and V minus to be the same. So the feedback loop's job is to ensure that Remember, we draw the feedback loop. How oh, draw feedback loop already? Now, like that. Okay, whatever is there, lah, connection. That is the thing. Now, the last point. What is the what is the what is the value of V minus and V plus? Well, if we look at the diagram, V plus is connected to Earth, so that is zero volt. So this V plus will have a zero volt. So V minus should also have zero volt. So we just mentioned, no? that is our virtual Earth, zero 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 everywhere. Yeah, that's why they, they ask you why it's referred to virtual. So let's write that. V plus is what value? So which is uh, at Earth. So zero potential. So the, the marks are literally these four points right here. So the first one is B1 method. Of them, you don't want to saturate. So what you must do? Loop must make sure V plus equals to V minus. Okay, what is the V plus and V minus? Oh, zero volt. Okay. So that's why it means virtual earth. Why is P a virtual earth? Because of all these things that the op have to make sure. Zero, zero, zero. And the loop ensures that. Okay, next part. Derive an expression in terms of the resistance for the gain. Oh, didn't we just do this? You want the gain of the amplifier. So you got to remember how to straighten out your potential divider. So if I redraw the circuit up there, if you look at your past year paper, there's going to be two resistors, R1 and R2 now. They have slightly different names, but stay calm, it's still the same idea. Uh, we could assume either way also the same equation. Maybe this is positive, then the output will be negative because inverting, one will have to be positive, one is negative. Then you will have potential difference here, V1 and V2. Don't forget in the middle is zero volt, virtual earth and current. If you assume V in is positive, current will flow from high to low potential. So we start off with the current. Since the op M has a large impedance, ah yeah, my English op M has large impedance. What can we say? Except not your welcome, but I in equals to I feedback. Or in other words, I1 equals to I2. But never mind, la, we call this I in and the other one I feedback. From there, we can say, oh, Ohm's law, right? All these are resistors. So V equals to IR can be used everywhere. So I will be V1 over R1 equals to V2 over R2. But we want these in terms of V in and V out. So we need to know that V1 will be V in minus the ground, which is zero. Yeah, the purple color, virtual earth there, zero. And we, we need to know that V2 will be zero minus V out. So we sub that in, we will have V in minus zero over R1 equals to zero minus V out over R2. And the last step, we rearrange for gain G, which is V out over V in equals to the resistor how ah? R2 over R1. Don't forget a negative sign. There. So all the steps, this one, you need to know how to derive. All start with current, how to straighten out this thing. You can memorize, lah, but make sure you memorize correctly. And even better if you can understand. This is four marks, guys. Four marks. So the first mark is if you know large impedance. Ah, 
one mark. Then you know the current will be the same throughout this entire section from V in to V out. Okay, that's one mark. Third one, you know how to sub in. You get V in and V out into the equation because you want that for gain, remember? So that's another mark. And lastly, you get the ratio of this. R2 over R1. Nice. Last, the last part. Ding, ding, ding. This is the one I want to focus more on. The graph. How to stretch the graph? People always wrong one. The circuit, the ratio is R2 over R1. Uh, and they give us 4.5. What is this 4.5? This is the gain. Ew. Okay. So we already know the gain. Gain is 4.5. What does that tell us? The graph will be 4.5 times bigger. Amplitude. But how do you draw? To be very, very careful. This graph shows the input potential. This is a signal. Not a sine wave, but... A, a graph like this and they want us to do what show the variation with time of the output potential so we have v in we need to use this to sketch v out now how do we do this and make sure we don't get it wrong first thing you need to know is what gain is gain is v out over v in and they just told us it's 4.5 but don't forget it's actually negative 4.5 because it's an inverting amplifier they didn't put the 4.5 there they, they hope that you know lah so that means your output will be 4.5 times bigger. So what is this? Uh? This looks like 3 volts. Okay, so let's see what is V out. So V out will be V in uh, times 4.5 or negative 4.5. And V in is v 3 times negative 4.5. Now this value that we will have is negative 13.5 volts. Yay, very happy. Plot negative 13 somewhere down here and then that's it. Hey, wait. Whoa, 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 wait. Remember the warning that I told you? The op amp has a limit to how much it can output. What's the limit here? Warning. What's the power supply? Oh, look back at the graph. Your power supply given to the op amp is only 9 volts. So your V supply is the limit for how big your output can be. V supply is limit for V out. So that the maximum you can go is just plus minus 9 volt. Oh, but then just now we see 13. Oh, cannot. Must chop off. So the highest you can go is 9. So we're going to write that. The supply is plus minus 9 volt. So this one is too big. We will have to cut off at 9. Okay, good to know. So our graph will be at negative 9 somewhere down here. Where is 9? I cannot see properly. I think it's this one. Anyway, the next question is, do we just draw a straight line like this? Ah? Hey, no, la, the shape. Ma. What happened to the shape? You have this kind of shape, right? So we need to find when does the op M hit the limit? When does V out reach V supply? We need to do some backwards calculation. Okay, so we do some check. Uh, v out, uh, reach 9. V in, I don't know. But we know the gain is 4.5 or negative 4.5. So we say um, this will be when the input is 2 volts. Oh, I forgot negative, sorry. Okay, so when you reach 2 volts, uh, means you already hit maximum already. So when V in is 2 volts, V out will already hit 9. Oh, oh, so where is 2 volts? Where does 2 volt happen? Somewhere here. Okay, so when this is 2, you should already hit 9 somewhere here. Okay, so let's change the graph a bit. Oh, I drew it correctly. <laughs> simply, simply draw also correct. Okay, here. So this is when you hit 9 volt, which is the limited by the power supply. Cannot go bigger than that now. Have to chop off. And the other end, where does 2 volt occur? 2 volt occurs somewhere here. So we need to rub off a little bit on this end. Okay, now I think we are good to draw the lines. So that is how the graph would look like. Okay, my lines are a bit crooked. But remember, uh, your input, yeah, you can go up to 3 volt, but your output, this graph, will be limited by the power supply, which is down here. Cannot go any larger than that. Chop off. Everything else, you just multiply. Lor. The gain is... uh, How was the gain again? 4.5 times. 
So the mark here comes for three marks. First one is you have inverted the, the, the whole graph, the shape. The whole shape become upside down, correct? Second mark, if you draw a line at 9 volts, means you are limited by the supply. If you knew that, a lot of people, they go and draw negative 13.5. Ah, yeah, you forgot, ah, power supply is the limit. Cannot go bigger than that. Then the third one is you reach saturation. Saturation means you hit the limit of power supply already at 2 volt input. So it means at 2 volt here, you reach saturation. Okay, correct. So that's, in, that's how you can check for 3 marks. Okay, so this video is a little bit long, but if you hang in there, good job. This is an example that you need to know to understand that better. Okay, next up, we'll be looking at the other type of amplifier, which is the non-inverting amplifier. This one you see, the graph invert will become upside down as the output. How does it look like in the non-inverting? That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.